Reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. Listening to Lotro Reporter on the MMO Reporter Network. Brought to you by Doghouse Systems. Choose your weapons with Doghouse Systems. Audible? Find your next great read at audibletrial.com slash MMO Reporter. And GoDaddy. Put your website to work while you play. Do this thing called recording. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we got update six sixteen basically, and that's it. Okay, I hit live. Okay. Oh. Okay, wait, it didn't, go ahead, it didn't like, wait, it didn't like the key. Oh, okay. Okay, fly. Okay. Start streaming. Okay, there it went. Okay. We should be live. I've got to get back to the live. Okay, so the loading channel data. And I've got the. Cool. Okay. (sighs) 
All right, I see video of a calendum. So the question is, do they hear us in the chat room? Okay, I'm really quiet. Let me see if I can adjust that a little bit. Hi, Growl. Okay, really quiet. Let me try to let me try to turn that up. That's not going to do me good for a uh, voice. Uh, I wonder. No, it looks okay on the recording, so it must be this. Okay, is that any better, guys? Can you hear me now? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 Don't want to be on the dashboard. I know the typing. It's very loud, and I'm sorry. Okay, let's get to actual Twitch page so I can actually see things without it, like, pretending I'm not saying things. Okie dokie. Welcome back, Leonor. Two weeks? Two whole weeks. I know, I can hardly believe it. Okay. Are you ready? I did already. Okay. So we're all set for that. Levels look good for that. Okay. It's uh, Okay, I guess I should. Do we have the new intro someplace? <laughs> no. Are we still using the old intro? Yeah. Oh, I better write a note to record the new <laughs> intro, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me go find it. Uh, Dropbox. Okay, you ready? Yes. In... As soon as it comes up, three, two, one. Welcome to Lotro Reporter, episode 275. I'm your host, Carrie, and I am joined again, as always this evening, by my co-host, Leonor. We've been gone for a couple weeks, and we are so happy to be back. Welcome back, Leonor. Yeah, I, I actually stood up and left the computer. I know, for like, <laughs> ever. Well, you were gone one week. Yes. And I was gone the following week. <laughs> right, right. So yeah, it, it um surprisingly enough turned out to be a nice little vacation. <laughs> yeah, and then we come back to some actual news, so that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's let's kind of sit and look at this number though, real quick. Two hundred seventy-five. We're twenty-five away from three hundred. I know that's that's a lot. We should do that this year, I think. I think we might. I think it's what, what like four months. Yeah, we Three might months? be doing that about PAX time. Ooh. Let's see. May's four or five weeks. June's four or five weeks. July's four or five weeks. So that's 16 right there. August would be... That's 12. August would be 16, so we probably won't make it. Probably end, the end of the year, looks like, maybe. All right. Yeah. 
And PAX, I discovered this because I didn't pay any attention, is it actually a week early this week. It is not Labor Day weekend. It is the weekend before Labor Day weekend. Oh. Yeah. So those of you who are planning on taking your Labor Day vacations, like me, um, plan around Change them. Change them. <laughs> <laughs> Change them now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh. All right. Well, welcome back. I'm so excited. We've got stuff to talk about and really cool stuff to talk about. Mm-hmm. So, well, first of all, what have you been doing in game over the last couple of weeks? Uh, when I did get into game, I actually went and did the anniversary for a little while, smacked around a bunch of hobbits, got a bunch of coins, and got the anniversary mount, which I'm happy to say is pretty cool looking. Yeah, that is a cool one. I don't remember if I got it or not. I did some epic battles. Uh, there were a couple people from my old kin that uh, were online, the one I was online, so... Uh, we got together and we got to talking for a little bit, and then we started doing some epic battles, and then we went into the three man uh, goblin goblin king's instance. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's where you fall through the floor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we got to run through that, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So that's pretty much all that I did this uh, this last couple of weeks. Cool. Uh, what did you do? What did I do? Well, um, while you were gone, I did do some anniversary festival. On a couple of characters. I believe I got the horse um, and got my, my, you know, new, pr very pretty, you know, um, for I got the four year stuff. So I got the, mm -hmm. the new and, and all that, that good stuff and the clothes, the four year anniversaries, the, the outfits that made mm -hmm. me very happy. And then I did some dual Amroth quests, um, you know, kind of trying to do the, I know I'm, I'm really, really, really behind, but um, did the, um, doing some of the dailies for that. Those Corsairs can be a little tough. <laughs> yeah, they can, if they're they're in a group, yep. Yep, they sure can. Yeah, especially <laughs> for a, like a little lone mini all by yourself. But it was, um, I had some fun doing that, and... So Amroth is very, very pretty. I've also patched the game yesterday, but I have not had time to play the game yet. Ah, uh, I gotta patch it yet too. I, I just got in about a couple of hours ago, so oh, welcome back. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Like my, my computer is very dusty. <laughs> ah, I see. But we're so I'm ex super excited to see this new stuff. I'm gonna like jump over like like update 15 entirely because I didn't do any of it yet, and go straight to 16 because I want to see the stuff. Oh yeah, I want to play with the new legendaries. I, I really want to get into that. Uh, David's got uh, in the chat room has got his already. He's so excited and so happy. His precious, he has his precious. <laughs> yeah. So he, um, and we have some. He, had, he gave us an, a link that we'll talk about a little bit. So that is, um, you know, that's what we've been doing. Game, not a whole lot, but we're super excited to get in there and see what's coming up. <laughs> All right, yep, speaking yep. of patching, there's some official patching notes. So the legendary item imbuement is live. It's Yay! Sweet. And they snuck a dev diary out for us on it. So let's see what kind of exciting things they have to tell us, or if there's anything we didn't already know. They have pictures. Pictures are good. <laughs> yes, pictures are good. So it's an alternative advancement system for allies that is designed to expand from update to update. So just a new system. <laughs> they have, oh, I see. So they've got like, you know, DPS. It's like levels. So you can earn levels just like the um, epic battles. Just like the, just like the l legacies. Yeah, but it looks a little different. It looks more like an epic battle leveling than it does, you know, how the gold, the bars fill up and you get the box or you can keep filling the bars. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to choose how many and which of them. They have to be level 100. So I'm sorry, your level 50 will not be imbued yet um, to imbue. So they're going to convert it to a class specific legacies and then... There's going to be more tiers with each update. And so there's going to be 35 tiers for each class. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and 25 <laughs> DPS are class stat. 
So examples would be the champion's rune incoming healing rating. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they can be ranked up by IXP. You can unlock an additional 10 slots by either finding items in game or using Mithril Corns. Um, the age of the item and improvements you've already made to the item also provides some unlocks upon imbuement. So it's going to be interesting to see what a third age versus a first age does. Because I remember them specifically saying in one of the dev streams that you could get a third age as powerful as a first age. It just was going to take you longer. Yeah, and this looks a, a little grindy heavy, probably towards the end of uh, getting some of the end of these ranks. So getting a first stage is probably going to be pretty important. And it's not that hard to get if you know a bunch of people in your kinship, or at least uh, a bunch of people that you can go and group with, because you can get tokens off of the roaming threats and those tokens will give you a first stage if you if you get I don't I don't know how many that you need but you can easily get a first stage so if you think that you're going to be doing a imbued weapon and get it you know all maxed out and awesome you should really get a first stage first okay yeah that makes sense that makes sense and and I would think that you would need basically what like the the minis have the healing set and the DPS set. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Some minis have a the Buffy set too. Of of you know, so all you need is a healing set and a and a and a DPS set of a, a book and a weapon. And right. and you better make sure it's like a, a weapon you like. So it would I would never have a first stage mace because I just hate those things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think the cappies have their buff sticks or something, so they had a bunch they would switch out. So you may end up with three or four imbued allies. Mm -hmm. Um. So you go to you talk to your forge master, um, and you want to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Read everything. Look at guides. Look at guides. And we do have a guide. There's a, a link in the show notes. It's I put it under. Did you know? But we can talk about it now. Um, our, our friendly um, neighborhood daddy um, from the rare breed kinship. Thank you, David, for the um, the uh, link. Um, wrote imbuement and you, and he gives you some ideas about. He's like, be careful, and here's some stuff, and it's long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's the same guide um, as from Beta, but he's just been updating with like actual live stuff. So there's pictures and all kinds of stuff. And the link will be in the show notes. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. I was looking at something. Oh, there. I was supposed to looking at. So your legendary, legendary slots move up. It looks like we don't have the, the runes anymore. It looks like the runes went away. Uh, what do you mean? You know how you put on your allies you had like the runes you could put on? Oh, yeah. I don't see runes on these menus. Well, I don't think that this is the menu that would have the runes on it, though. So, since I really ah. can't get into the game right now... Okay, I, wait, I I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm <laughs> looking at pictures on the, the guide, and I'm sure David's about to tell me this because we have... But I'm looking at pictures on the guide, so there are still settings, gems, runes, and crafted on there. Plus the new growing to the right, or to the left side. And your runes still. So you can really, really, really customize this. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right up my alley. Yeah, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. <laughs> I'm going to be going, I'm afraid to touch it because I'm going to break something and be stuck with something I don't know, I don't want. So I will not touch this for a while, probably. <laughs> I usually tend to go, I don't understand it, I'm not touching it, I'm still killing stuff just fine. Mm -hmm. I, but I will bet the next time, um, I have a sneaking suspicion, even if we don't get level cap increases, that a level 100 something or other in Dol Amrath is going to be not as tough as, say, a level 100 in Oskiliath. Hmm. Because you're going to be doing more DPSs with updates. Mm hmm You know? So that that's a possibility. I don't know if this is true or not, but that would be interesting. Don't bother to increase the level clap, cap. Just increase the difficulty of the 
the mobs and assume people have got these imbued weapons going forward. What do you think? Well, I've heard that the instances are actually pretty tough right now, as they are. Speak but that's because everybody doesn't have, you know, some coolie wep uh, maxed out weapon. And uh, the instances are dropping five slotted gear now. Oh, uh, yeah. So people can get even more stats on their character. So once they start getting their weapons all up to shape and uh, getting some of this armor with the with with more slots then these instances might be easier again so i'd be kind of surprised if they just came out with another up another major update that had even tougher stuff and then raised the ranks on these things even more i, I it kind of seems a little bit silly i mean i really don't want to be ranking my legacies up from level 28 to level 220 over the next year i don't know yeah. Well, That's my opinion. <laughs> yeah, well, the instances, I do believe I was reading that there was an instance de instance cluster dev diary, and they're talking about how we heard you, and we're doing what you ask us to, and you get an instance Um, Let's see. Um, I'm trying to read here. I swear they said something about, ah, tier two in the challenge, though, that is where we're bringing the hard. So they are, they did make these to be hard. Mm -hmm. We've labored to keep it interesting, fair, and fun. Be merciful, tier, but merciful tier two is not. You have been warned. So they're bringing you the challenge, boys and girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, and my friend who's on uh, Brandy Run runs a raiding kinship, uh, Estelia. And Estelia, he's been running these instances quite a bit, and he's saying that they are pretty tough. They look really so coming from him, who, who actually... Uh, um, can lead pretty good and tell groups of people to do something and you know you go there you go over there you do you go over there in the middle of combat and you know conduct <laughs> control these people if he says it's pretty tough then I'm gonna be uh, kind of scared going through these for the first time <laughs> yeah the, the pictures are pretty epic looking I cannot I actually cannot wait to get in there and see the big elephant thingies with the dudes riding them and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we're getting there we're actually getting there <laughs> yep we're getting there oh uh, yep we're getting there so it's i cannot wait let's see what else what's next on here um so they also had right before the, um, the thursday before the the patch went live they had a dev diary sneak peek so if you ever wanted to know what some of the um quartermaster you made of lions and ginger look like <laughs> be sure to watch this because this it's a fine looking bunch of gentlemen there and they had a lot of fun talking about this and some of their exciting stuff so yeah Anyway, so that's pretty much on Update 16. I'm super excited. Oh, we got three new instances, of, or three new areas, of course. Um, yeah. Three new regions. You've got oh, Upper Li Libanon, which is... Three unpronounceable regions. Yes. 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 <laughs> so we've got, uh, yeah, Upper Libanon. I heard them pronounce it, so I'm hoping it was right. So did I. I and I'm still like, uh... We've got L Lost Narch. <laughs> 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 That's how it looks like, Lost and Arch. Um, it's supposed to be very pretty. There's supposed to be roses at the refuge of Imloth Milu. Oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> um, so, vast gardens of rose bushes. I'm really excited to see that. Um, and then, South Illithan. So, um, and it's that's pretty abandoned, they said. And mm -hmm. so that's going to be kind of neat. And then, of course, we've got rangers running around. And we've got the city of Osgiliath and a new epic story. And, yep. I, I have and lots and lots of eager players that need levels and ranks for their new weapons. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a little chaotic for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm out of set. I really am. I knew it was going to be bad, but <laughs> I tried. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's let's talk about.
about something that I still cannot pronounce anything of. Um, Lainer, did you know there were Russian Lotro servers? Uh, yes, I actually did know that there were Russian servers because when we were doing the Bounders bag events, uh -huh. I can't remember the name of what it was called. It was called Bounders something. Mm -hmm. uh, the Russian servers blew all of the other servers out of the water and were the first ones to have all of the Bounders tokens to finish their statue. That's pretty cool. Wow. And then I think it was Brandywine and then... Um, um, Landrevoil was, uh, sometime later. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't following you guys, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I did know that there were Ru Russian servers. And apparently those ser servers are, were something, were on something like Codemasters that was in England. Uh, well, I think they were in... Because now there are server problems... They're closing the servers, yeah. and the Russian players are not going to be able to be uh, transfer over to the American servers. Correct. So it's just it's like the um, England servers went down, the the Euro servers. Um. Yes, but with Codemasters, they were able to move everything over, but they have to keep them separate. So they're like two separate sets of. That's why they can't transfer characters from. EU servers to the US servers, you know, the former right, Codemaster right. servers. But the the Russian servers, they're just shutting down. They're not mm -hmm. going to be able to transfer them over. Um, and they're on update, something like update what I read. Um, they're on something like update 13. Oh. Yeah, so they've been localizing it basically, the translating and stuff, and yeah, they're they're update 13, and they're not going any farther. Mm -hmm. So what Turbine has willing to do for these players, um, they cannot move the accounts or the characters. Um, in the same way, they cannot carry the transfer from American to European. They do want you to continue to car carry them over, so they're asking that you send in that create a request, and specify that you want to go to the survey now this is from the russian translation so this is google translate so this is a little <laughs> weird a sentence in the request specify that you would like to go to the to the server's turbine to continue to play lotro <laughs> you will be contacted our staff will check your data and then provide you with 750 turbine points a durad stone durad stone a lotro starter kit and um it said Moria and Merkward set of tasks. I'm assuming that means the, the quest packs for Moria and right. Merkward. Um, so they were uh, suggesting that you um, to to use Steam to load to, to download the, the American version of Lotro. And that way it's going to be easier for you to shop. They ran into some problems with some of the smaller countries around the Russian servers, like Ukraine. Um, so they were trying to get that fixed. <laughs> mm. But they are attempting to give Russian players something so that they can come play on the American servers or the European servers, whichever they would choose. Cool. That's not too shabby. I, I know that. Uh, I, I think that there there's people talking about that there was an NPC right now in the Russian servers where if you were not max level, you could talk to the NPC and become max level right away before the servers are down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's basically, it sounded to me like they had just basically opened Borrower on the Russian servers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you're Russian and you have an account, go play for a little while. Yeah, yeah. And if you're Russian, come play with us, you know. Mhm. Mm uh, let's see what else. Don't don't just don't just rush into our servers. Ha 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 ha. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they basically opened up Isengard and set this door to one TP is what Krell says. Okay. Yep. So that is what they did. Um, and also why we were gone for two weeks. The customer service guys have started like talking to everybody. It's just kind of cool. They made a post on the forums where they um, listed everybody's um, forum titles so that you would know who they were. 
and could look at what they posted and their profiles and stuff like that. So you could figure out, you know, why they, oh, it's special, it's special, it's a special thing. So why do you love Turbine and WB? You know, how long have you been there? How long have you been a gamer? That kind of thing. So they give you some um, it, interesting, it's on the Turbine support page, but they, kind of cool that they, um, you know, somebody's been doing for customer service for 15 years, they've been at Turbine for five. Yeah, it's kind of neat that they actually posted that. I, I don't know of any other company that does that. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, too. It's kind of cool, but kind of weird. <laughs> like, if you got a complaint, there's a bunch of names. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I thought, too. It's like, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of names. But it doesn't link back to the forums, so maybe, hopefully, you will, when you click there, you will click submit a ticket instead of, like, bashing them on the forums or something. Right. But at least you know who you're talking to when you call them or write them or whatever. Yep. Um, let's see what else. Oh, they were very excited. So they also, um, let's see if it was Code Blue or who wrote this, this post. I'm waiting for it to come up. Can you tell? Um, Spectre Vortex. Um, gave some facts on gift giving payments on friends accounts and manual points purchases. Guess there was a problem with if you're the nice the nice enough person to use your like log into your friend's account and put your credit card information on their account. <laughs> it sticks. <laughs> and for all <laughs> intents and purposes, that is now your account. And if they like charge something that they weren't supposed to on oh your account with your credit card, you might be not friends anymore. <laughs> so if <laughs> might might yeah, it depends on how good friends you were. So you know, um, you can. So there are a couple of options that you can do. You can call or email the account management department and request to pay for the gift. Um, you know, be sure to have the credit cards information and billing address and stuff like that. Um. So you need the name of at least one character on the server and the character it's on. So you so if you, you need my name and the server I'm on so they can find my account. The email address on f the first and last name of the account user. So you can't just randomly give stuff people stuff. <laughs> right. That would be kind of cool. But, um, you know. So anyway, so you can be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there are ways to do this without actually attaching your credit card to their account. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else did they say. They had something else. Um, some some VIP um, point frequently asked questions. Um, some password requirements. You know, so they just were updating some things in customer service. Um, you know, my postal code has less than five digits. Must be not in the United States. Um, you know, international cards, that kind of things. You know, I've lost my character. Where did it go? What happened to it? Th that was just been updated. And then, um, then there was five steps to an amazing customer service experience. <laughs> <laughs> By Spectre Vortex again. <laughs> five steps. Hmm. Stay connected. I wonder if there's suddenly some new rule <laughs> or something going on over there. I think I think somebody is very excited about their job. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, you know, first step, be sure to make sure your email address is current. <laughs> well, yeah. That's that's a good step. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, add account support at Turbine and no reply at Turbine to your email address book so it doesn't end up in, <coughs> excuse me, in the trash. Um, you know, look at the knowledge base to see if there's some stuff that maybe you can help yourself with. Maybe simple questions. Know where to find the help. You know, this is what account support does. They do help with real money transactions, Turbine point issues, in-game store issues, etc., um, in game support assists with gameplay issues, harassment reports, and other code of conduct violations. Tech support helps with download and installation issues. I didn't know we had tech support. 
and gamify uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Inform community support assists with forum issues and community run events, but cannot probably help you with the other three. You know, ask questions. Contact any support department from the support portal. Um, call them from 2 to 6 Eastern, Monday through Friday. Um, you know, submit in game tickets. You know, be polite, be specific, be detailed. You know, respond directly to emails with more information and follow up questions. So be sure to reply to the email they sent you they, so they can keep everything. You know? Mm hmm. Um, be sure aware that duplicate tickets about the same issue will be closed without a response. That kind of might be important. <laughs> you know. So, is that the last step? That was the last step. That was all five, yeah. All right. <laughs> These are just stuff you might want to know, just in right. case. I know. <laughs> um, and then there are, they have listed alternate ways to contact account support for particularly for international players. One of them is the Google Voice website. Oh. On how to internationally call. You can. Also, I want one. You can also use Skype. To call internationally and bondage as well. So interesting. Okay, um, and let's see what else is coming up. Uh, Spring festival is coming up June twentieth, May twentieth through June third. That's that's the oh, fishing one, right? Yes, I believe that's the fishing one. Okay. Yay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> busy. That's uh, also the things. shoe shrew stomping one. Yes, where I have is. to teach you how to actually play. Yes, because I do not understand how to get the big shrew. Mm -hmm. nope. um, well, that might be kind of hard in the beginning, but I'll show you every, everything else. Okay. Well, I can <laughs> stomp the little shrews. It's the big shrew that I have a problem stomping. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay. <laughs> and then everybody's favorite chicken festival, Hobnanigans, looks like it might be running for 10 whole days in June. Wow. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much what I saw for news. Did you think of any? Could you think of any other news? Um, um. David reminds us summer is fishing, spring is shrews, and that's right. Flower is spring flower picking. Please tell me it's not the flower picking one. I think he just. I think he told us that, that last time too. Yeah. it was a mama set. Um. Spring is flowers. Spring is the awful, horrible, hideous. <laughs> I'm going to ride my horsey around and, and deliver ale. <laughs> that, going and picking flowers for an hour is just makes me want to cry. I never finished that one, I don't think. I have finished it. I have finished it, and I hate it because you have to go to three. You have an hour, and you have mm -hmm. to go to three different places. Right. Because it's three different kind of flowers. And everybody wants the flowers. And, yeah, no. <laughs> you don't get any titles or anything out of that, right? For flowers? I don't know if you do or not. What did I, I don't do? think you get a title, because otherwise I would have ended up doing it. Okay, I don't know. I hate the flowers. Some of the other stuff. <laughs> okay, I we'll like. talk about something else. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with the news, so I'm about to ready to play music. So I'm going to play music now. Discussion topic. Yes. Um, it. So I saw this thing on the forums. It was called "Let's Play a Game of Favorites," where we list our favorite things, and there were eleven of them. And I actually am probably dumping this on you, and you have no time to think about it. So uh, may, dump it. You may skip dump away. if you wish. <laughs> so thank you to Theomer, uh, who posted this. And it got a, quite a bit of response, and there were some things in there I didn't even know existed. So what's your favorite map, Lanor? Um, Mirkwood. Mirkwood? Yes. Really? Why? Yes. It's, it's ugly and yucky. Are, are we talking about zones or like the actual map when you hit the M button? I don't know. Let's let's decide. Okay, so if it's my favorite map, I like the Mirkwood map because there's a lot of things on it. And I think that was the introduction to the new art style that they went with the maps. Uh -huh. 
later on. Okay. If we're talking about areas, it's hands down Agmar. Okay, that's a it's, surprise. It's got too. everything. Okay. Even the sky is pretty. Okay, if you like gothic, dark, sad places. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Angmar is not what I would think of as a favorite zone. That's the one zone that is about... Mirkwood and Angmar have both had me almost in tears of frustration trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Um, Angmar more than Mirkwood. <laughs> Uh, that that's the one flaw of Agmar. Yep. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Yep. Um. So favorite map, picture map. I really, really like the new map of Bree. I think it's really cool looking. Um. Just the new art style. I think in general is pretty cool. As far mm -hmm. as favorite zone, I am going to have to say the Shire. It is just so pretty, and there's just always stuff that you. I was running around the other day and ran across stuff that I'd forgotten was there or I'd never seen before. One of the two. I was just riding around on my horse. <laughs> I went, oh, there's hobbits over here doing something. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your favorite town, village, or settlement. Town, village, or settlement. Um. Chat room, you can chime into this too. Um. Tell you the truth, I think uh, they, they they all, a, a lot of them are just kind of like, eh, to me. Oh. So I'm I'm gonna go with, I mean like the the Gondor ones and stuff are like, like really nice looking, like very cool looking. But what I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with one that surprised me way back when I first started playing the game, mm -hmm. which was um, a Stelden. Okay. With really? all of the rangers and all that, because when I walked in there, I did not expect how long it was going to be and how active all the rangers and all that were all on the left and right of me, on the right of me as I'm going through the town. And it just felt like really, really detailed and, and looked like they were just getting ready to um, for war and stuff. There was just so many things going on with them. And that really impressed me early on in the game. And... I really haven't had that feeling since, except for maybe in Rohan, but that was a little bit different. That was because of the Chance Thomas uh, music soundtrack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Aldberg, the old Gondor, you know, the old city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, they did a fantastic job of making that feel old and overgrown and not well taken care of and just ancient. You know, every time I go in there, it just reminds me, you know, it, I just get the feeling of old, mm -hmm. you know. And I mean, I know some of the Gondurian cities are old, but they didn't right. have that, like, kind of genteel, you know, old, <laughs> you know. Right, shabby. right. Genteel shabby. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, that mm -hmm. Aldberg did. So, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll say my second favorite one, okay. which is, um, um, there's two of them. Uh, one's got a little bit more going on in it, and the other one's a little less got going on in it. But both Earthkin um, little village oh, yeah. mm -hmm. encampments, because those guys are cool, and I wish that they used them more in like other areas. Okay, yeah. Just like walking in on those guys, it's like wow, and then looking forward to seeing more of them, and there's none. Nope. nope. <laughs> there's just a couple of spots. Yeah. Um, Krell likes Estelden, too. Yeah! So that's... Your favorite storyline? Oh, boy. Uh, you go first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, um... There's the one... It's the ranger one where they... In, in, in Isengard, um, where where we um, had to go, we, they left him. We remember we had to leave him at one point, mm -hmm. and they took him. And then we went back. To, and I was going to be angry if if he didn't make it out. 
mm-hmm. I was going to be downright almost I, I could have rage quit over him not making it out of Isengard at the, at the, <laughs> when we went back in to get him. So I that was my well, that, that part of that particular storyline was my favorite because I really did not want to leave that guy there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and we had to wait what almost a year to get oh, him back. Yeah. 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 Uh my favorite storyline is in Agmar and it's just something that you just stumble upon. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of guys that are just kind of sitting around near fire and stuff little campfires and when you kill them you get a sword oh yeah and it's not a sword that you can use but it's a quest item and there's seven of them you get seven swords and this will take you through a quest chain that has a lot of awesome things going on in it (laughs) yeah you have to go kill the things yes I really like you know those spontaneous kinds of things and that's only happened in Agmar, as far as I can think of. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of a surprise. It, it was Sorry. almost coming up on something like in Elder Scrolls, like in Skyrim or Morrowind or something like that, where you're just wandering along doing quests, and you come across this thing. It just kind of leads you yeah. astray, and you get this awesome epic story out of it, and then you're back on to whatever else that you were doing at, yeah. afterwards. Yeah, I've, I've, I haven't actually gotten the reward for that. I've gotten as far as getting like five or six of the swords, and just haven't finished the, the quest. The Because you've got to go everywhere in Engmar to get that stuff. You do, yeah. you got to do a little bit of research, yeah. Yeah. Most uh, of the time, at least. All right, so we have more names I'm going to mispronounce. So David in the chat room says Amarthiel is his favorite. Um, Amavaset that likes the Amdir line. Um, Krell is the in their absence, the whole thing, the quest, the instances, everything. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I, that, yeah, I remember when that first appeared in all the uh, what I used to call bleeding stones, uh, but it was like energy coming out of the stones. It was really neat when that was going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe. David was telling me in chat that the um, quest I was talking about was the Lothrin Deer one. Um, they also mentioned the Engun one, which I believe is the Nameless Woman one. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Krell, thought you cool, guessed right. Seven Swords was your pick. Woo! And he, and he likes a stellion, so. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> Go- the Gollum quest. That was pretty cool. Not knowing that it was Gollum and then figuring out it was Gollum, I was so excited. My the like, Mirkwood one? Mm-mm. Trollshaws, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know which one that is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. They're like, this thing is like trying to get the baby and it was like... <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that was, that's pretty cool. All right. Your favorite NPC character. Uh, what's her name? Um... Ah, uh, I think her name is Holly Hornblower. Holly Hornblower. <laughs> She's a hobbit. Okay, that is Holly Hornblower is a hobbit, yes. I just like that name for inappropriate reasons. <laughs> 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 Which one do you like? <laughs> <laughs> um, I... Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Well, my favorite is not... What's her face? <laughs> that for sure is not I was so mad um, <laughs> let's see favorite well now that Layla's got the market <laughs> and you, oh, there I you kinda go. like her that she's she's pretty cool I like her um, now she she is the one that is in the the, the, bor- the, the burrows right right she's in the, the bar- borrow downs yeah the one that has to go find her prince it's a good thing. Oh, find her prince. She was looking for the prince or something, and or her. She was looking for the prince, got lost, and had to get her her coat. We had to go. Okay, like, it's the same one. Yeah. Then. Yep. So yeah, uh, she she went from probably the most hated NPC next to um, uh, what's her name, the old lady Sarah Oakhart. Yeah. Thank you, chat room. <laughs> yeah. She went from second most hated to she's pretty cool uh, status pretty quickly when she opened up that store. <laughs> yeah, she's, like, she's a really cool lady. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, one of my favorite guys though is the the um, 
what is it? He's he's in the um, the prancing pony, and he's part of a quest line that you get at like thirty five or forty, where you're like running around, and he's like he's like one of the southerners, or like anyway, he's leaning against a wall, and he just grumbles at you every time you walk by him. <laughs> hmm. So, anyway, they've got some good questions. Okay, gag or funny plot twist? Hold on w- one second. Okay. Mama said, said uh, tra-la-la, tra la lily Okay. Do you know where that's from? <sighs> that is from north of Thessal Bridge, if, he's, if it's the same one I'm thinking of. It's the the woman that's just kind of dancing around. Oh, yeah, around. singing around because she's like, like, like she's possessed or something, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I don't know her name. I don't remember her name either. There's crazy lady. Yeah, crazy. Well, there's a lot of crazy ladies. <laughs> okay, in this game. go on. <laughs> All right, gag or funny plot twist. Uh, gag or funny plot twist. Um, I'm gonna go with gag first, and then say plot because I have both. Okay. Um, gag. I really like the fact that a lot of the festival items have something to do with... Uh, they, they give little descriptions from, like, movies. Um, there is one that is from Ghostbusters. Uh, there is another one from something else. I know that there is a Firefly reference on one of the items. And uh, if you look at the, the, it's the, the gag items that you have to do 200 times so you can use it as an emote. Uh-huh. It's those items. They usually have something that refer to a movie or something like oh, that. Okay. Okay. And the plot twist. Um, uh, crap! I just had it in my head. Uh, it's not really a plot twist. It was just kind of funny to me when I was playing through it, and that's in Forokel with the love story. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, this guy is trying to marry this woman, and as when he goes to her house, he has to like beat up a bunch of guys that show up. Oh, um, I am, might not have done. Yeah, I think I, I think I do. In for yeah, Krell was saying there's the helping the fellowship line was in in for hell that was like that where like it was like the fellowship, but the 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 guardian had cost of repairs was a problem and the ha- guy's heralds yes. ran off yeah yep that's the line that's the question yep yep okay yep i remember that yeah i remember getting there going wait what <laughs> 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 yeah okay what are your favorites uh oh excuse <laughs> me that was in mama sets the bumbling fellowship krell's was the um, um, marthiel I don't remember which one that was. Plot twists, plot twists. Well, there's been a couple, like, um, you know, I mean, I I know. I kind of feel like there aren't plot plot twists. Like, I kind of know, I kind of got the feeling that I already know what's going to happen, and it kind of happens. Well, Sarah O'Cart, I knew something bad was going to, oh, yeah, I knew something bad was going to happen as soon as I walked in there. And I didn't want to go in there because I knew it was going to be bad. You know, in mm-hmm. Angmar, when I finally found the place because I couldn't find the path for three hours, um, mm-hmm. I knew that's when a Mithra corn would have been nice because I would have totally used it. <laughs> um, yeah, that I knew I knew something bad was going to happen. Just the way you walk in, it's all those people. And I'm like, uh, that's a, that was a wasn't funny, but it was like one of those that had me screaming at the, the computer. Mm-hmm. Um, there was another, what was it? Another one that had me doing that too. I just had I'll, it. I'll say, last... I'll, I'll say one while you're thinking okay. about it. Um, there was, um, oh geez. It's, it's the other snowy area that is in Rohan. If anybody can tell me the name Winter, of that. Winter home. Winter home. No. That's that's the snowing area in Rohan. Winter home? No, isn't uh, No, no, no. Winter the... winter 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 or some winter home's the the winter the festival right. thing. Um Wildermore. Wildermore. Wildermore's plot line. They have a ice troll come in and just like 
knock this important dude into orbit. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap. And then you find him later on with, like, no memory and have been, like, rustling animals and stuff. Oh. That was awesome. That was a cool plot twist. <laughs> that was pretty cool. He's, he's been fighting orcs and stuff like that, but I, I was like, what? You're alive? <laughs> So uh, that would be my number one plot twist. Or was the one that the guy was like? Yeah, I um, I was beginning to to think that if for a while, you know, the the um, Rohan, you know, all of the, what was it? The I could see it coming, but I still. Wait. Okay. There have been several that are coming to mind, and I might be getting them confused. There was the one that I really, really didn't want to do in Rohan where we had to go tell the girl that um, What's-His-Face was not going to marry her ever, you know. And we had to go mm -hmm. find flowers and there were frogs or something. Um, and then there was the one where um, it was in Rohan and it was one of the, the settlements and the wife was in charge and she had the two kids and they ended up killing her. I was really angry. <laughs> they make me angry more than anything. <laughs> I don't laugh out loud a whole lot, but they, they do do good stories. <laughs> All right. Easter egg. Favorite Easter egg. Oh, geez. I thought of one too. You know, I still never found... I, apparently there was a turtle kid because that was made of lion's favorite one was a turtle kid and nobody had found it for a long time. I don't know what the turtle kid is. Turtle kid? That's okay. what he said, a turtle kid. And I'm like, I don't... Is a kid with a turtle or something? or is it... I don't know what the turtle kid is. Or is it a is. baby Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle walking around? I don't know! <laughs> You know, I still, I, I've looked and I've looked and I've gone all over Brie and I still cannot find the kid that that the, the um, toys come alive for. I've looked oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. I, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've read instructions. I've like peeked under every set of stairs. Like I, you know, I was doing the of anniversary festival. I ran into sections of Brie that I had never been in. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. You can kind of go around to the corner. Too bad that none of these houses open. My favorite Easter egg is over in Forokel. Where you can ride over to the people that are ice skating, and ah. if you right-click on them, they fall over. That's pretty funny. I usually jump my horse over them as I'm, like, clicking on them, so it looks like they're falling over as I'm jumping over them. It's awesome. Cool. I, ne <laughs> I, I need the horseshoe for the turtle kid. What? That's what David says. You need the horseshoe for the turtle kid. Okay, that one I'm going to have to find. I've got to find the turtle kid. Um, and I was at, like, the Peculiar Cottage with the Three Bears. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I had to go find that one. That one's pretty cool, yep. I was I was going to say that one, too. Then I was going to say the um, uh, the horse that has been, uh, not horse, the, the house has been taken over by squirrels. But uh, the Forakel guys that fall over, I love that. I, I, I kind of like the cat lady's house myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an Easter egg. Well, it is when you... Yeah. We're going to keep this safe for... That's a cat lady. <laughs> not if you remove the word lady from the house words. And then it's not a child's place. <laughs> but we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, I really have to figure out the turtle good. Um, what else? Adorable scene. That's the next one. Adorable scene. Oh. Adorable scene. Um. Uh. Adorable scene. I'll tell you one one cute scene that makes me laugh every single time, which is in book one, when the ring wraiths come into Bree into the prancing pony and stab the beds where the hobbits are. It makes me laugh and giggle every single time because those beds are obviously empty and they're still stabbing them. Yeah. Okay. That's adorable. That's adorable. <laughs> no. Um, I actually think the Black Rider at night in, in the Shire 
the the mm-hmm. hobbit that's running around. I think that's pretty adorable myself. <sighs> awesome. We're bad, bad people. <laughs> yeah. I guess the masked rider of the shire in the shire. Yeah, I think that's I think that's super cute. Oh wait a minute! We're talking about the the Hobbit that's dressed as yes. Okay. I'm the Black Raider, and I'm going to follow into the poop or something. It was yeah, that one. Right. I think that's well, if adorable. if I have to go with like at, if if mine doesn't count as adorable, and then I have to pick something that's adorable, I'm gonna go have to go along with again, Holly Hornblower. Okay. Okay. The pie lady. <laughs> the pie lady. Okay, you're going with the pie lady. Yes. Uh, oh, I, I I do kind of think you know all of those kids in the pub in um, the green is Green Dragon that's in um, one of the pubs in the Shire. You go in there and there are like all of these kids sitting in this r- room around the corner from the bar, just listening to stories. Hmm. <laughs> Mama says the I have the best balance in the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm on an adventure and I've paddled all the way from Frogmorton. Yeah, that's 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 a pretty awesome too. Just standing there and listening to people talk is hilarious. Yeah, um I don't is it the burden No, the burden babies in Hobbiton. This is in Oh, uh, where's the party tree? What's the the town that's in the? Uh, no, it is Hobbiton. It is Hobbiton. The Mickle Delvings where the Burden Baby is, right? Sure. Okay, so <laughs> it's Hobbiton. It's I think it's the 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 pub in Hobbiton. Yeah, I think it's the pub in Hobbiton. Yeah. There we go. Confirmed. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go on to the next. What's next? Um, tra- tragedy. Tragedy. So who has a bunch not- of rangers lying about a damn <laughs> ring? <laughs> That's my favorite one. What about you? <laughs> I think that poor woman who who has kind of gone through the epic quest. I think I think we named her. It's the one that the nameless woman that Amdir Amaset says. Um, that, you know, you catch her on the way back into Angmar and they kick her out of Angmar and then she shows up in Forkel and then she shows up in Isengard. And oh. That is a tragedy to me that this poor woman has been treated like this. <laughs> to Nona? Me. No, not Nona. Nona is, um, the... Um, the... And, yeah. Yeah. That's not Nona. Yeah. I, they, it was, uh, let me look. It's, uh, I think she was up in the chat. So let me find her. Um, N Gun, N Gun, I think is her name. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think that is a tragedy that you know, she, and she's been you know wandering through the epic story for like f- seven years now. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's pretty tragic. Yeah, that's tragic. Uh, title. Let's... What is your favorite title in the game? I have way too many that I like. Yeah, yeah. Like way too many. I've been trying to get everything in the game. Uh, I've I've recently taken a break from that, like this year. But I was trying to get everything in the game, including titles, and I have probably hundreds of titles at this point. And uh, ones that come to mind that I kind of put on every once in a while is. Uh, Slug Squasher, just because I think it's funny. Uh, The Watcher of Roads, because I think that's kind of funny too, being a level 100 somewhere in in Mirkwood or or Gondor or something. Watcher of Roads seems just kind of silly, so I put it on. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Um, Mamaset likes the Shrewd. One that I think is hilarious but will not wear is the Eager Beaver. Um. The eager beaver. If we're going to talk about that, then it's the the Moria one that you get right away in the beginning called um, Seeker of Deep Places. <laughs> yeah, there's just a couple <laughs> I will not wear. Um, explorer and Adventurer. 
um, David says, uh, one of my, the one I wear most proudly is, um, uh, is the, the one for Weatherstock, Weatherstock Stewart or something, but my favorite is easily lost. And I think you get that for just like <laughs> getting, like crafting something. I tend to put on the helpful, yeah. which is when you guide somebody as a chicken and get them from like point A to point B. I don't know exactly what you need to do, but you just kind of need to be with a chicken. <laughs> that sounds appropriate <laughs> too. <laughs> and um, I also put on a lot um, the social, yeah. which was something that you got from... Uh, special events. I don't remember exactly what, but th those two I kind of put on a lot. Yeah, speaking of that, we're going to be, we're the sociable. We'll be giving away one of those codes tonight. If you don't have it, we will get it for you. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking at the spoiler for the Turtle Kid, and it might be, a, it probably is a Hobbit, but I'm just, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, you have to, yeah, you have to finish a quest with the horse you want. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's see where we're at. Uh, mount. Favorite mount. mount. Uh, uh, I, I would have to say the Steed of Minas Ithil. Minas Ithil. Because yeah. I don't see it used very much. It was like one of the first steeds that were out that I was like, damn, I need 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I usually... Uh, I, I don't ride it all the time, but I do tell people that I'm, I'm riding this, uh, purple and red goat because my steed of Menasithil is in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at myself. But it, Go ahead. But I usually do ride the black, black and red goat just because it matches my outfit. Yeah. A mama set says he likes his war goat and David says he likes the steed of the hunter. My favorite is actually the the, the Steed of Rivendell, the new one. Oh, I really like that one. I accidentally, um, accidentally bought it just on a character and didn't realize I could get it for the account. And I'm like, please, 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 can I please have it for? And they 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 charged me the difference and gave it. So every all my hop, everybody rides it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Steed. <laughs> Um, David's second is the Steed of the Dust Watch. Oh, I like that one too. Uh, I think that is the. S uh, no, I think that's a festival horse. It's either a festival horse or it's the second horse that you get in Mirkwood that has the gold blanket on it. A uh, black horse with gold blankets. Cool. Um, the one in Angmar that you can get. Um... The second one? The Metadeed one? Uh, nah, maybe no. I don't think I've done the Metadeed in Angmar. The one for the being friends with the people. That one's really cool. Dust Watch is the Envelope, envelope steed. steed. Well, there were three Envelope oh, Steeds. Oh, I, I have that on one character. It's the one that's got, it looks like it should belong in Estelden. It's got like the that, that seal on it, on the shoulders. It's really nice. I have one Hobbit that has it. Hmm. And because I got it from the envelope for her, and it was, it's really sharp looking. I like that one, um, too. And then one, the one I'm most proud of is I actually finished finished the elf deed, so I got the the, the elf steed. Oh, the um, the one where you have to have all the reputation done in all areas. Yep, for all of the elf areas. Yep. Yep, all wardeny looking is what Krell says. Yep, it's it's really really awesome. I wish I I I pay twenty bucks for that one. It's probably in the store and I haven't looked, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Steed of the Dust Watch. Yes, uh, I do like that one. That that seemed more of a um, uh, as a as a normal horse, and I liked it a lot. And I liked that it was brown, and yeah. not like the standard brie brown horse that was kind of plain looking. Yep. I remember this one. I liked it. All right. And your favoritist soundtrack. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your favoritist soundtrack. That is not the Chance Thomas <laughs> Rohan. There. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. All right, you can Moria, play. Moria, because there was a lot of ooh dwarves singing like that. Okay. There. <laughs> um. <sighs> I like the the. I actually was able to find and download. They made it available. Like the, I think everybody and their brothers got it because it was for free. The um, the original soundtrack. There's a couple of songs that I just are so happy. Some of the the Hobbity songs were just so happy that I just mm-hmm. love that. Just love it. Krell says probably the Shire theme. Uh yeah, it could be the Shire theme. But there's another one that is, um, it's not the Shire theme, it's something else that's hobbity, that's dancey, you know, it's very, makes you want to almost jig too, and I can't remember which one it is. <clears throat> Alright, so that was our discussion topic from the forum, so thank you, that that kept us busy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was pretty cool. So you can also, um, we'll give the contact information. I, we would love to see here lists. You may email them to us. Um, you can tweet them at us. I, I'm, I'm sure we've missed some things, especially with the Easter eggs. I, I know there's a, a, a rabbit from Monty Python. I know there's some sn- snowmen, some uh, um, like a snow mm-hmm. village someplace. But I'm sure, and I know that there was one guy they took out. Um, there used to be a podcast. A podcast or a, a, a it was either a podcast or a blog, and they would they would talk about the Easter eggs that were in Middle Earth. Oh, I remember that. Um, That's a while ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago, and there was so so the Monty, and then there used to be somebody over in North Downs that was like a, an homage to I think another Monty Python thing. Mm-hmm. So I'd love to. Um, to, to hear about some of these spoilers that would and these Easter eggs that would be pretty cool. Maybe we'll find Slender Man. Really? <laughs> I hope not. That would be frightening. <laughs> it's Middle Earth. It's not supposed to be frightening. I hear he doesn't have much to say though. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to community. I'm playing music now. <laughs> Okay, in community, um, Rick, for the extra life, he tweeted that he had sent out the last batch of emails. There were some issues with some email accounts getting through to him. So if you did write him and you didn't hear back from him, maybe you want to try a different email, like Comcast wasn't getting through, possibly. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you want to try Yahoo instead of Gmail or something else, or like, tweeting or something it, the, the window is like quickly closing if not already closed on getting mm. codes so so scream and yell and stomp and kick your feet if you haven't gotten what you need yep contact them quick yep use all of your emails yes all 47 <laughs> you know i learned something the other day um i learned that if you do not use gmail as your email for like resumes and stuff like you use Yahoo, um, people will like throw your, you, you know, throw your resume lower in the pile. Huh? They actually I did not know that. They actually, um, yeah. Did you know? They actually um, <laughs> surveyed <laughs> HR managers, and if you're using something like, um, if you're using something, what is it? Um, what's the you've got mail? AOL. <laughs> you're like it's completely thrown out. <laughs> 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 so even if you don't normally use Gmail, if you're trying to get a job, you might want to. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> While we were on vacation, we had some more lunch runs. <laughs> um. So did anybody beat Brandywine? Yes. Vanyar has v- Vanyar Van Vanier. What? V a n y a r Vanar Vanier. <laughs> Has beaten Brandywine by one minute. Wow. Good job, guys. Yep. One minute. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. That's actually a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, so it's 116.20 to 117.57, so it's more like 40 seconds. But still. Okay. Still. That's a lot. Wow. 
Um, let's see, who else? Um, there we have five that couldn't complete it and had deaths, and then Laura Lynn just had flat out two deaths. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so somebody sent some screenshots of a chicken going. He made it solo to Helm's Deep. Oh, they have some really cool pictures of chickens. Solo to Helm's Deep. Solo to Helm's Deep. Oh my god. So he's still running them. We've got um. Oh, Silverload and Guahir. I know. I need to work on my pronunciation. Um, this Thursday. Um, and Imladris and Sironon um, the following week. See, there's like a nice easy name like Firefoot and then like Mayar. <laughs> Mayar. <laughs> It's like, you know, I can do one of the two, but not the two. <laughs> so so um, how many How many are left total? Um, Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. What Wait, he should really do that. is he, he, he should take, like, the top six quickest servers and have them all run again as, like, a final. That's what he should do. Yeah. Um, fourteen awesome. servers actually. So he's he's going into June doing this, and it gets hosted on Lotro Stream. So if you uh, watch follow Lotro Stream, they'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Let's see what else we got in the way of news. Um, I don't know if this is all done and over with yet. Let me look. Because they were at Land, is... Land Reval was having the horse racing season. Yeah, it's the spring April twenty fifth, right? Yep, and it's past that. So I don't know who won. Um <laughs> 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 uh, because I wasn't here. I was I was Well you go look that up and I'll tell everybody about okay. our sponsors. You do that. So if you're looking for a new PC, check out doghousesystems.com and use the coupon code MMO Reporter to get a hundred and twenty gigabytes solid state drive which helps a whole lot with gaming it speeds everything up especially makes your windows quicker and you want your windows quicker yes trust me <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys are looking for some audiobooks go to audibletrial.com slash mmo reporter sign up and you'll get one month free which is one book of any uh, i think uh any book of your choice yes and you can have long long books Long, long books. All yes. right. Yes, we finished. Or super short ones. Yeah. But if you're going if you're to get that. one free, you know. If you're going to get one free, yeah. get, make, just make sure it's good. That's all. Yes, they <laughs> ran the, the cup. So Galio Doc um, won, followed closely behind Tiny Bell and Calebus. Calebus. C-A-L-E-B-U-S. That's an awesome name. Yep. And there was a rodeo. And orange hobbits in orange dresses. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all I can imagine is like fruit walking around. <laughs> yeah, and they had the they had the spring hat, you know, the the straw hat kind of hat, the, the pointed uh -huh. one, like the witch's hat, in orange. So yeah, they look a little bit like pumpkins. <laughs> Okay. They had quite the adventure. <laughs> oh, and there's like green outfits. And yeah, they had quite the adventure that day. It looked pretty awesome. And yeah, what a day they had. And I was busy. Okay, going on with the sponsors. That's it. That was it. All right. I, I got guess, two. All right. I will, that's right. I guess I will tell you how to contact us. So you can email us at lotro.reporter at gmail.com. You can tweet at us at Lotro Reporter. You can find us on pace Facebook by searching for Lotro Reporter. You can leave us a voicemail at 616-666-6778 or use the widget on the right-hand side of the screen. Steve, you really do have to quit calling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash MMO Reporter Network. Be sure to check us out on lotroreporter.com. And one of the, the best ways to find out when we go live is to follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MMO Reporter. 
You can follow me on Twitter at the Carrie Mac. It's T H E C A R I M A C. And Leonor, how can they follow you? They can follow me on Twitter at Leonor L A Y A N O R. Uh, they could also look me up on YouTube, and they can also look me up on Steam if you guys are playing a game. So feel free to come bother me, because I like to be bothered. Okay. Well, we're going to give codes away, so let me. what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dice roller up, because I have a D3 on that, and we have three people in the chat room. So if you're you in the chat room <laughs> and not logged in and would like to be on the list for this, you better log in quickly. Yes, log sir. in. We'll we'll play the ending credits music. Uh, log in right now. As soon as the music's done, we will give out prizes. Yeah, I like giving away prizes. Okay, where's the music? Hang on. Oh, okay, you got to say goodbye to everybody first. Oh, now. okay. Well, goodbye, everybody. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Coming back after our two-week hiatus. Um, thank you for downloading and listening. And as always, we hope to see you in game and hopefully to see you running around Olyphants and Osgiliath. Krell, your incoming horse. You're getting a horsey coat. Okay. Let's see. Back to the chat room. How did I do that? <laughs> oh, there we go. You, you click your browser. Why? It opened <laughs> other <laughs> Oh, well, look. It opened another tab. I didn't notice it opened another tab. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. <laughs> All right, ladies and germs. I'm glad I stopped recording about five minutes ago because he would have put all of that in the show. <laughs> <laughs>Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.